hey guys <laughs> So today's video is a get unready with me, however, because I'm a dumbass, I already took off all of my makeup for the day. So I figured instead of making this an in-depth get unready with me where I take everything off, how about we just skip it and go to a get ready with me for a spa night. And while we are sitting here wearing our masks getting beautified, we are going to sit and chit chat about the things that have happened in the beauty community over the past 24 hours. And by that I mean James Charles or Charles James, whatever the fuck that kid's name is, trying to be extra once again and also failing at doing so and making himself look even more stupid than he already looks. For today's video, I'm going to be using the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Avocado and Oatmeal Clay Mask. This mask is specialized for normal to combination skin, deep cleans, and purifies pores. And it says here, nourish and purify with one amazing mask. Rich clays dive deep to purge dirt and oils from pores. Nutrient rich vitamin E, avocado, and oatmeal moisturize for lasting skin softness. Skin looks and feels squeaky clean and is so soft to the touch. So this is the beautiful mask we're going to be using today. And let me just say this one thing. These retail for like two to three dollars at most at Walmart. And I swear to God, these are the best masks that money can buy. Now obviously there are more expensive masks that do amazing things, but for the price tag I think this is literally the most amazing mask you can find at the drugstore. Better than Olay, better than L'Oreal, like any of that shit. This beats the dog shit out of any of those skincare brands. Let's go ahead and start getting this mask on my face. Now if you have a mask of course let's put them on together. Alright so basically if you have no idea what had happened this past weekend at Dragon Con LA. Of course, all of the big influencers, Manny, Jeffrey, etc., etc., all went to DragCon LA. All of them, I'm pretty sure, had meetups too. And of course, I was watching all of them have so much fun while they were there on Snapchat. And if you guys have me on Snapchat, you guys know that I talked about really wanting to go to DragCon, but I was so terrified of flying by myself that going that far away from home by myself would be near impossible without me having an anxiety attack. All right, so now that we're fully covered with a thin layer, I'm I'm gonna take my simple makeup remover wipes and wipe the rest of this off my hands. Now the power of manifestation definitely knows when to work its wonders because that same weekend it was announced that DragCon is going to be coming to New York City this September. And yes, for the record, I will be attending and I am fucking living for it. So apparently what had happened at DragCon was James thought it would be a good idea to cut everyone in line when they were waiting to see Latrice Royale who is my all-time favorite queen. If you have no idea who she is, this is Latrice Royale. Girl, the shade, the shade of it all. Okay. She is a South Beach queen and she is from South Florida, like me. So naturally, us South Floridian girls need to stay together. There was a line of people waiting to meet Latrice, and James thought it would be a good idea to cut all those people, go to the front of the line, and walk in unannounced, and basically just interrupt the entire meet and greet. I don't have the videos myself because if I really wanted to get the videos, I could, but I would get a copyright strike on my channel, which we do not want here, so I'm going to link the video down below where I saw the actual clips of everything happening. And in that video, you can clearly see that Latrice is like, who the fuck are you? She's taken aback. She is not here for it. She's confused as fuck as to who this fucking kid is. After giving James a quick little hug, I'm sure to get him the fuck out of there as quick as possible, she mentions that there's a whole line in front of him, but he ignores her saying that and continues and proceeds to take pictures with Latrice. Now, Latrice being the gracious queen that she is does not make a scene of it, but you could definitely tell throughout the entire duration of this meetup, she was very, very, very uncomfortable. Now, what makes me laugh more than anything Thing about this entire situation is the fact that he seems to think that he is this like celebrity that everyone is supposed to know who the fuck he is and in the video clip you can clearly see that Latrice has no fucking clue who this person cutting in line is. He has to explain who the fuck he is to Latrice and even after he explains to her she's still not for it. The petty bitch part of me is hoping that this September, his little punk ass tries to pull the same shit in a line that I'm waiting in with everybody else. Because unlike everybody else, clearly, I'm not afraid to shout the shit out and be like, what the fuck are you doing? Get to the back of the fucking line and wait your turn. Because quite frankly, who the fuck are you to jump these lines thinking you're someone special? Like, you're clearly not. 
Okay, yes, you're the first male spokesperson for CoverGirl. whoop de doo What have you done positive that has made you worthy of that title? The only thing I've ever heard about this kid is all negative. Talking shit about going to Africa and getting Ebola like a dumbass. Lying about your high school pictures and the lighting and making you look extra when no one was here for it and everyone called you on your shit. So whatever it is you're trying to accomplish in making yourself look so special and extra, you're clearly failing at it because no one's falling for it. But I just don't understand why no one said anything. Like, my extra ass, my loud extra ass, would have been like, bitch. I would have called his ass out and been like, get the fuck to the back of the line. Like, I cannot stand people like that. Let's be real here. If you were someone special, you would have had ample opportunity to meet all these queens backstage. I'm very certain there was a private room for all the influencers and the queens to meet up privately. So why couldn't you have just waited? And here's the other thing. He canceled his meet and greet because he felt sick. But he couldn't have been that sick because the same day he was out and about cutting lines meeting the queens. Now, me personally, I don't like James. I don't understand why he's so special. I don't get it. I understand why he's special and the fact that he is the first male spokesperson for CoverGirl. But there are so many professionally trained makeup artists on Instagram, YouTube, pretty much everywhere. If you look anywhere, you'll see them, especially Instagram, who are more talented, who are more creative, who are more unique, and who have better attitudes towards things like this. He just looks like a snobby, entitled little brat right now, and I fucking can't stand the shit. Now, what makes me even more mad is the fact that every single person in all of these lines that he cut were paying customers. They paid for their tickets, they waited in line for however long they waited, just so they could meet their favorite queens and take pictures with them and have some actual personal time with them. And you, rude-ass bitch, want to go and cut lines and completely disregard everyone else's time and feelings just so you can meet the queens and look special. Now, of course, when every Everything went down, he took to Twitter and had a long ass apology that literally, to me, is the most disingenuous apology I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm seeing a lot of frustrated tweets about influencers at DragCon yesterday cutting lines and I wanted to address that. I can only speak for myself here. I was supposed to have a meet and greet yesterday but cancelled last second because I was feeling very sick. I still wanted to go and walk around, however, because I love DragCon and everything it stands for. When I came, I was assigned someone to walk around with me for security purposes. When large influencers go to these types of conventions and events, it can get crazy hectic with people stopping them asking for photos and hugs as well. I love meeting people more than anything in the world, but it can cause large crowds and fire hazards and overall chaos. I did not cut any lines because I believe I am superior in any way, shape, or form. I can promise you that 150%. I always feel bad about doing so. These types of things are coordinated in order to avoid problems and ultimately to keep the convention running smoothly for everybody. There were even a few people I was sent in to meet and was told to get in line like everyone else, which I find so awesome and so humbling. What the fuck? At the end of the day, I was at DragCon yesterday for the same reason as everyone else. I'm a huge fan of drag in general and wanted to meet many of my favorite queens, get makeup inspiration, and just have a really great time walking around. I'm extremely sorry if I angered anyone by cutting the line you're in. It was not my intention at all and it will not happen again today. Drag is such an important and impactful art form that has inspired so many of my looks and my personality traits as well and has allowed me to be confident in who I am today. I am so thankful for the community and would never want to undermine it or upset it. I hope everyone enjoys the convention and I hope to meet more of you sisters later on. If that was supposed to be an apology, that was the weakest apology I've ever heard. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't even call that an apology because all you were trying to do the entire time was to justify your actions. Which, I'm sorry, but there are no justifications for what you did anywhere. You mentioned that you really do feel bad when you cut lines, but then why would you fucking do it? Like I said, instead of being an extra ass person, being rude as fuck, having no respect for anybody else in line who have waited there for fucking hours in some cases, why couldn't you have just waited and gone backstage and met with the queens in private? Why would you be so selfish and try to take up the paying customers time? They paid to be there, you didn't. So what gives you the right to cut these people in line after they literally paid hundreds of dollars in some cases just to meet these people and they now have to wait in line an extra five to ten more minutes just because you want to make yourself feel special and feel like you're important to these people when you're actually not. And let's be honest, I understand he's a spokesperson for CoverGirl, but honestly, what is CoverGirl anymore? I don't hear anybody talking about CoverGirl, and I'm not saying that CoverGirl is a busted-ass brand, but... I mean, really, what have they put out in the last few years that has been 
a game changer. I mean, compared to everybody else, there's nothing. They're just trying to stay on these trends with all these other makeup brands who are hiring the big influencers to represent their brand. Maybelline, at the very least, has Manny and has really, really good concealers, foundations, and sometimes mascaras. The lipsticks are out of this world. The eyeshadows, single eyeshadows, really aren't that good in my opinion, but when it comes to CoverGirl, my mind goes blank. Like, there's not one product that has truly changed my life for the better that has come out in the last few months. I don't know. Like, I just, I cannot stand people like that. And let's be honest here, and I'm putting it on record right now. When I go to DragCon in September, because I am going, if I see this punk-ass little kid try to pull the same shit in a line that I'm in, along with everyone else waiting to meet my favorite queens, I will call your ass out faster than you can say yes. When it comes to things like that, I speak for what's right, and what you're doing is wrong, so I'm gonna call you out on it. Alright, I think I've ranted for long enough now, so I'm gonna go ahead and just rinse this stuff off, and I'll meet you guys back here for the skin reveal. Alright, so excuse the water splash stains on my t-shirt. I try to do that skincare commercial thing where they like splash the water on their face and it just goes everywhere so beautifully. I tried to do that and it made a mess everywhere, so that's why I have these stains, so excuse me, I'm sorry. But as you can see, my skin looks a lot brighter than what it did before. And that is one of the many reasons why I love this mask in particular is because it's so fast acting. After one use, I see a difference in my skin and how it looks. It looks cleaner, it looks brighter, and it feels really, really tight also. Because this is supposed to tone your skin as well, so it really tightens things up. So if there's one skincare product that I want everyone to go out and buy as soon as possible, it is these masks. And obviously, buy the mask that suits your skin type. And obviously, buy the mask that suits your skin type. This may work for me, but doesn't mean it's going to work for everyone else as well. So do some research into all the ones they have available, which there are a lot, and pick out the ones that would benefit your skin the most. All I have left to do now is to just moisturize, brush my teeth, and I'm ready for bed. However, I have a lot to do tonight before I go to bed because I have to edit this video or put it up for tonight. So the same day that I'm filming this video, you're going to have it up on my channel to watch. And then I also have to sit down and brainstorm some video ideas for the next two days because I have to film the next two days. So if you have any requests to see certain things here on my channel over the next few weeks, leave those all down below. I'm also going to be filming my monthly Q&A starting, I'm thinking, next week because I already have a few questions. So if you would like a chance to be featured in my Q&A video, leave your questions down below as well or on my Snapchat. But to finish off this video and the topic at hand, I honestly don't understand why people act like this and I hate people who do. And quite frankly, I don't know why CoverGirl still chooses to represent him as a, an influencer because the way this kid carries himself is so annoying. He acts entitled like he is owed everything that he gets and the fact that he disregarded everyone else's time and feelings and the fact that he was so careless in what he did just proves that he doesn't give a fuck about anybody but himself. So I don't know what you guys feel about this guy but I quite frankly am not a fan of him. Anyways guys I'm gonna get on out of here edit the video and have it up for you guys later on tonight. Like I said if you have any requests leave those all down below. Subscribe if you're not already and I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys so, so much. Bye.